So I am Dana Danels, and together with the Daniel Brodin, we'll present our work on building a language technology infrastructure for digital humanities, challenges, opportunity, and progress. Uh, I am affiliated with Sporkbank and Text at the Department of Swedish. Uh, my background in, is, is in computational linguistics, and Daniel is affiliated with the Department of Literature, History of Ideas and Religion. And his background is in film, media studies, and interdisciplinary humanities research. So we I, are both, I work at the Center for Digital Humanities also. Yes. We are both from University of Gothenburg and involved in the activities of Swedish Clary. So a challenge is posed. We need to focus on intensifying and following and allowing creative forms of humanities research for the 21st century not to their replacement by science as an hegemonic form of knowledge creation. In our case, this challenge formulated by Berian Fagelyord concerns Spokebank and Text, a research unit at the uh, University of Gothenburg, which forms part of the National Language Bank of Sweden, and since 2014 is the main coordinating node of Swedish Klarin, the Swedish National Klarin node. Spokebank and Text carries research on language technology for his historical and modern Swedish and develops a research infrastructure to support research in linguistics and other disciplines in the humanities, social sciences, and medicine. During the last decade, the work at Spokebank and Text rapidly expanded towards the development of high quality language technology tools. And some of the, its most known tools offering access to a range of corpora, as well as services and knowledge on a sustainable basis are the ones you see here. Uh, we have CORP, the Corpus uh, Infrastructure Tool, uh, CARP, the Lexical Infrastructure Tool, SPARV is the Annotation Tool, and LERCA is a tool for second language learners. But these tools are not always necessarily meet the needs of researchers coming from the field of humanities and social sciences who on a regular basis approach us with various methodological questions and feature requests. So the question is how to continue developing Sporkbank and Text as a national language technology research infrastructure in a way that truly meets the needs and wishes of the humanities and social sciences researchers. Um, so the solution spoke back in as in a more strategic way, collected language resources that are of interest for humanities and social sciences researchers. For example, we've collected the Kubis corpus of Swedish historical newspapers spanning from 1645 to 1926. Uh, we gather Twitter and flashback corpora. Uh, we enhanced user interfaces with user-friendly layers for allowing users to visualize and navigate between the resources. For example, to be able to generate maps marked with locations of place names that are mentioned in a text or graphs for visualizing occurrences of names appearing in the text. We expanded the annotation pipeline with new annotation, annotations both on text and document levels um, some examples are name entities, place names annotation, sentiment annotation, uh, and gender. And finally, we applied state-of-the-art methods to analyze the content of the resources for supporting comparative analysis on different levels in order to find relations in text, determine when a literary work was written, analyze the distribution of male and female authors, in different type of literature like pose and poems, analyze how a character is depicted in novel, etc. And all of these solutions are thanks to a collaborative experience we are with other researchers. Um, and some concrete examples will be presented by Daniel. Thank you, Donna. And here we give some examples of collaborative projects with research from the humanities and social sciences that, that Sprockbank and Text has been engaged with in during the past years. And these projects have contributed to, to the development of the research infrastructure. And 
Perhaps I should once again stress that Spokane uh, makes available tools and a large number of corpora of interest to humanities scholars. And Spokane has also several ongoing research collaboration with departments at uh, particularly the University of Gothenburg. For instance, historical studies, Department of Language and Literature, and the Center for Digital Humanities. And in relation to these collaborations with uh, various HSS researchers, Spokane is developing and maintaining several databases and have also started implementing new functionalities, including more user-friendly inter interfaces and simple downloadable formats, such so as plain text. And Sweet Clearing, which I am involved in, has also initiated a series of interdisciplinary one-off and truly collaborative pilot projects with uh, HSS researchers. And I'm going to take one specific example. I myself was involved in a project with terrorism historian Mats Fridlund and Lars Bolin and Leif Jörande Olsson from uh, Språkbanken Text with Clarion. And the project has so far resulted in two papers. And these studies combined, combined Fridlund's domain knowledge and Lang with language technology expertise, and we evaluate expand on research claims regarding the historical meanings associated with terrorism based on Swedish newspaper corpus, uh, a Swedish new newspaper corpus from the late uh, 18th century to the early 20th century, the Kubist corpus that Donna talked about. And from the perspective of Språkbank and text, the project has highlighted need of supporting cross-border comparative analysis with versions of the corp tool installed in other countries. And as Friedlund, the lead researcher, has an interest in both Swedish and Finnish history and terrorism, uh, our second paper included a comparative analysis of a Finnish newspaper corpus, which required a content search involving both Swedish corp tool and the version used by the Language Bank of Finland. And Swiclaren uh, uh, also organizes user workshops that we call Swiclaren Tour to spread knowledge about our research uh, our resources and to provide hands-on training, but also to gather user feedback. And this is quite important. And sim similar to the collaborative projects, uh, the workshop dialogues provide insight into current limitations of our tools from bugs to functionality gaps. And a recurring feedback has been the need for document level access to the materials provided by Språkbanken. And as we all know, while researchers in language technology have limited interest in the non-linguistic content of corpora, so to speak, the cultural and historical aspects of the content are elemental to researchers from many other disciplines in the humanities. Thus, uh, Språkbanken has initiated extensive work to meet the need for document level access to text, most prominent example being probably being the further development of the widely used corp tool. And to conclude, uh, the collaborative research projects, projects uh, and workshops have given Språkbanken text access to a body of perspectives ex experience which, which have provided valuable insights into the needs of HSS researchers, the current limitations of uh, the tools and resources provided by Språkbanken, and also uh, an orientation in how to further develop the tools and resources. And the effort has, in general, re re reinforced our aware awareness of the gains of very strategic thinking when it comes to the integration of interdisciplinary perspectives in the development of the infrastructure at various levels. Thank you. <laughs>